Hi, I'm Adrian from AllAboutScreenDoors.com. This is one of my uh, do-it-yourself screen door kits, and we're going to take a look at what comes inside the box. The first thing you have to do is carefully measure the size of the screen door that you need. Uh, I've got some uh, helpful tools on the website uh, to help you with determining how to measure your screen door. And please be careful when you're measuring the screen door because these, are, uh, these doors are custom cut exactly to the sizes that you require. Now here's uh, the components you get in the screen door kit. Uh, first of all, you've got uh, extruded aluminum uh, uh, screen door rails. You've got two short rails and you've got two long rails. Those are the short rails there. The long rails, the vertical and the horizontal rails that make up your screen door. This is the uh, kit of parts that comes with the screen door kit with all the corners and uh, the screen door lock and the handle and all the necessary screws and hardware you need to put it together. If you take a look, here's the lock uh, that's used for the inside of the door. You've got an extra handle if you want to use on the outside, although uh, there is a fin on the screen door which can be used on the outside for a handle all the way down. The, uh, r the rollers and corners I use uh, if you take a look at these, uh, at this roller and corner, these are just about the best uh, screen door roller and corners assembly that you can get nowadays. I've got a steel uh, one and eight inch uh, ball bearing roller. They're very heavily duty made. They're going to last a long time. You're not going to find too many screen doors with this quality of hardware, and so that's uh, one major advantage to using the screen door. Once you get the screen door and you want to start putting it together, it's a very simple procedure. The only tool you need is pretty much a rubber mallet. Don't use a regular hammer because you're going to damage the screen door. All you really have to do is take the corners, stick them into one end of the short rails, like this, and basically just hammer it in all the way until it's in like that. And then to install the roller, you can see how there's a, uh, a cutout in the bottom of the door and there's a spring on the bottom of the roller. You just hook that spring into the cutout and push that roller on and that's all there is to it. Do that four times, once for each corner and uh, hammer the top and the bottom onto the vertical rails and you've got yourself a complete screen door ready for screening. If you need help installing the screen door, you'll be able to take a look at uh, allaboutscreendoors.com and find all sorts of helpful information on the different types of and methods that you can use to put screen doors in. The, uh, the screen door itself, there are a number of options. They come in white, they come in brown, they come in mill finish, and there are other colors available on request as well as other sizes. The uh, if you need any help with uh, installation, like I say, check out the website, allaboutscreendoors.com. And if you find that these screen doors are useful to you, please order one. Thank you.